Miss Jane Fonda. This is the second time that I interview you, but always a pleasure. When was the first time? Um, the book club. Ah, okay. Um, what is your personal perspective about luck? What is luck for you? Does luck exist? I think luck is preparation meeting opportunity. You have to be ready when opportunity comes along to seize it and make something of it. You know, a lot of people, they don't even see the opportunities or the opportunities are there, but they don't know how to use, use them. So you, you know, you have to work on yourself as an individual to make yourself healthy and whole and a good person and clear-minded so that when the opportunity comes, you can, you can see it. That's, that's what I think luck is. What looks like bad can turn out to be not so bad. A blessing in disguise. Yeah. That bad luck is the opposite side of the coin of good luck. They go together. Mm. That you really can't have one without the other. You know, it's like silence has no meaning without noise. Life has no meaning without death. Good right. luck has no meaning without bad luck. We need much more than good luck to save our planet. We have eight years, according to the climate scientists, to cut the pollution from fossil fuels, from oil and gas and coal. We, we have to do this. We have to insist that our governments start turning away from fossil fuels. We have to do that by going into the streets in massive numbers and demanding. We have to do this by engaging in direct civil disobedience. We have to do this by, I just started the Jane Fonda climate crisis, the, uh, the Jane Fonda climate pack. We have to get rid of the elected officials who take money from the fossil fuel industry and mm -hmm. replace them with client sci climate champions. So the electoral system is important too. You know, yes. the fossil fuel industry in our country has a stranglehold on our politicians and we have to cut that, Gordon not, we have to cut that and put in decent people who will work for people and not for big corporations. And we don't have a lot of time, so we have to do it now. Jane, thank you so much and always a pleasure. Thank you, it's good to talk to you again. John Whoopi, what a pleasure to meet you. And you too, Daniela. How are you? Doing great. Thank you so much. Would be uh, under your own perspective and on your own experience, does luck exist or what is luck? Yes to everything. Yes, it exists. Um, and I, I feel it, I see it every day, you know, but both lucks exist, the good luck and the bad luck exist because you can't really have one without the other mm. or life would be very strange because it would always be just good and how are you and everything was sort of And then, you know, somebody would come along and say, stop doing that. And that would be the bad luck day. That would be the day where you think, oh, okay, maybe it's too much. But I think so, I think, I think we all have good and bad luck and it's always changing and always different. And you can't make it adhere to your needs. It mm -hmm. is what it is. So it's always changing. And if you're present and you recognize it, sometimes you can help guide it to make it better or sometimes you can't, but you have to be present for it. What do you think the message for this uh, for, for kids uh, is about people who are lucky and people who are unlucky? Well, the message is no one is all lucky. No one is all unlucky. It always is changing. So don't give up because you think it's not going the way you want it to. I mean. You know, you just, you have to just kind of take a look at it and say, is this really bad luck or is this something else? I think we adults forget that kids sort of need guidance on things like that, you know, that 
we have to help them understand that it isn't always what it looks like. And then we also have to tell them if you feel like you're just you've you're just having bad luck all the time. You got to find somebody to tell. You got to find somebody to tell and talk about it with them. Uh, last question: When are you running for, for president? <laughs> Never. I'm serious. I, I, I know, but I you know I love being in the position where I can say, "Here's what I think," and mm -hmm. lots of people can say, "Well, that's what we think," and I can say, "Then go make the change." We can all make the change, True. you know, because if you're if you're in it, like I would not want to be Joe Biden because nothing he can do will make people come will make people happy because half of the people don't want it and the other half do. So I want to be on the on the side yeah. that says, let's see what we can do to make it better as you're opposed totally right. to kicking his behind every day.